Morristown National Historical Park commemorates the sites of General Washington and the Continental Army's winter encampment of December 1779 to June 1780, where they survived through what would be the coldest winter on record. Today we'll explore three areas of the park. The first stop was the museum where I obtained free tickets to the Ford Mansion. I highly recommend visiting the museum for historical context before visiting other sites in the park. Ford Mansion tours fill up fast so be sure to secure tickets as soon as you arrive. The next stop was Fort Nonsense. It can be a little tricky getting through town but it was worth it to see the fort. My final stop was Jockey Hollow to see the visitor center, Wick House, and the Grand Parade. Washington Headquarters Museum is here where you get your ticket to go to the Ford Mansion. Also there's uh, exhibits in a park movie that you can check out while you're waiting. Did Washington choose Morristown? The reason he chose to, this place is an encampment for 1777 and another winter 1779 to 1780 was because of its strategic location. It was two days march from New York City which you can see over on the right. And it was protected by the Orange Mountains and the Watchog Mountains. So there was really only one way for the British to come into town. And he had set up uh, signals on some of the mountaintops so that he would know in advance if the British were coming. Behind me is Ford Mansion. And this was Washington's headquarters when he was here in Morristown. 1779. This large Georgian style home was built in early 1770s for Jacob Ford Jr., an iron manufacturer, and his family. Mr. Ford also served as a colonel in the Morris County Militia during the Revolutionary War. Ford died in January 1777 while 35 soldiers from Delaware were briefly quartered in the house. In December 1779, Mr. Ford's widow, Theodosia, allowed General Washington to use her home as his headquarters during the winter of 1779-1780. This statue of Washington riding his horse is located just across the street from the Ford Mansion. We're on top of Fort Nonsense here, and this peak is close to the center of town, but this peak was used as a signal beacon, one of many signal beacons that the uh, colonists used. They set up these pyramidal alarm fires that they would light and they would go very high into the sky and they could be seen from peaks around. They would send signals that the British were actually coming. This is the second stop for the day and the final stop of my 2021 road trip finale. If you'd like to see the other videos from this trip, please check the link at the end of this video. To protect his army and supplies from a British attack, General George Washington ordered the construction of this small fortification on the hill overlooking Morristown during the spring of 1777. This became known as the Upper Redoubt and included a guardhouse sufficient to contain 30 men. As it turned out, the British never came and the fortification was never called upon to defend the town. We are walking the Upper Redoubt here, and these stones have been placed to mark where archaeologists have determined the outer edge of the redoubt itself was. From here we can see Morristown below us. I expect not. He's been a warm body in this hollow since the army got here last December. No sense complaining though. This hut's a sight better than living in our tents. If you come to the visitor center here, they have a movie, but it's the same movie that they played at the Ford Mansion, so you could see it at either location. Henry Wick built this Cape Cod-style house around 1750. Henry Wick's prosperous 1,400-acre farm yielded a bounty typical of this area, wheat, corn, hay, rye, and timber. Orchard provided apple for cider, and a kitchen garden near the house produced vegetables. These replica huts are 14 feet wide by 16 feet long and front walls that are six and a half feet high. These were built to a standard plan all across the area here. Grand Parade, so there'd be cabins all over the place, but this is where they assembled to do their uh, exercises and drills and parade. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this type of content. I'll see you out here on the next adventure.